What do you play? You know, Adam just really just had this new way of just showcasing his abilities. I think personally for this record, I like the guitars simply for the fact that they were written more purposefully. These ideas are more cohesive with everything else going on rather than like, I didn't write from just a guitar perspective, I wrote from like a song perspective. Some songs we just started with the simplest idea and just loved it and just kept going with it. And I feel like it was, that's why some of these songs came out so natural. I think the main thing I noticed from going back to our other albums was I think that there's a big disconnect between drums and guitar. I think there's definitely a lot of parts that we were on different pages. I learned to complement the music more and just, you know, instead of having a battle between me and Adam, just kind of let things play out. And I think that we just made better decisions about what to do with drums. The tone, like just the drum, the overall drum sound on the record is great. The kit that it was tracked on, just to the room it was tracked in. When I was writing drums, I just wanted to make sure it was going to create the biggest sound possible. And you know, I, I wanted to keep it full, I just wanted to have fun with it, and then, you know, tracking full kit was just amazing, because, you know, all the things I wrote, all the influences I drew, I could just really, really showcase it. But I think what is different is that, like, he definitely pushed himself a lot more. I think we, I kind of boxed him into a corner by having him have these really technical parts that he had no other choice but to record it. So I think that's definitely different, I feel, in the past, he kind of, if he was concerned not being able to pull it off and recording and didn't want to look like a fool, he wouldn't do it. But this time around, I think he kind of overcame that and uh, didn't really kind of let that weigh him down to not write certain drum parts a certain way. And I think he kind of went into it was like, I'm just going to do it, I have no other choice. And I think that's what makes the drums better this time around. The formula is there, we just know, we, me and Adam have been writing music together for a while now, we just click and, you know, Adam's a great great musician. He pushes me harder than any other person I've ever worked with. I feel like the drums are definitely a big step up from the last record. I just think the drums on this album are real creative. They're definitely a step above everything else we've done so far. They really just were very patient with me, did not rush me at all, and we did it quicker than I've ever done it in the past. Time, it's, there's some soul to it. There's some cool little, little parts where he flexes. It's nice. I think just that comfortability gave me the reassurance to give my best performance and it just sounds natural, it just sounds like what I feel like a metal album should sound like on drums. There is kick and snare on this album, mm -hmm. which is ironic in a metal album that there was no kick and snare on the last album, so parts that had aggressive drum parts you can hear, so sonically there's drums on this album. A lot of new interesting stuff that wasn't done on the last record, like instead of just doing blast beats for every fast part that came up, New ways to make the song sound aggressive and fast without doing a typical blast beat. You know, it was it was a pretty smooth. It was a really, really, really smooth drum recording process. It was the best, best, best time I ever had recording drums. Over with my man's Carson and Grant. Uh, bass on this album was very cool because uh, it's fucking chunky. Recording bass here was awesome. I got to put in basically whatever I wanted um, and Carson really helped me a lot with uh, the process of everything and just made made me feel comfortable and I think him and Grant did that with all of us. You know Gary tracked bass on this record and uh, Carson really helped him out just you know like I said it's patient with everyone. There's real bass. Um, the Absolution of Hatred and Psalms had MIDI bass. The last real bass we had was um, Malficium, and I think that it definitely complements the guitar really well. It doesn't, it has that, the purpose of a bass. It has the low end of it, and you can actually hear it and feel it, rather. We're not relying entirely just on rhythm tone, like beefy guitars were also. There's a lot of, like, finesse-like kind of leads, a lot of ambient stuff, but stuff that makes sense to the whole album. All my ideas are definitely very ambitious, highly caffeinated ideas that set, like sound good in my head but don't really come out to be great on paper. But I think I kind of like shaved it down, controlled it, and made it more cohesive rather than like here's a bunch of flurry of notes that have no sense to them. So it still feels like me because it is very like all over the place but it makes a little more sense. He just came through. He really just surprised me on a lot of the stuff he was showing me. A lot of the stuff we worked on was more or less finding that one riff that was like 
cool that we could just like repeat multiple times or twice or make into choruses and that's the strong guitar suit of this album is that it has a lot of really good catchy parts. I also write with a lot of layers in mind. I'm a huge fan of like um, like soundtracks and, and, and uh, motion pictures and I feel like I try building off of that where you have a bunch of different parts going at once that kind of complement each other. You know, we don't stop for a second. We just keep, the, as far as the rhythm section, we just keep going. And I just really want to create a lot of depth as opposed to just like, here's a riff, here's a harmony of a riff, or, and that's about it. It's really fucking heavy to be completely honest with you. Adam's shred sounds super tight. It's a lot more tastier, you'd put it, I guess you'd put it. For me, it just starts with having a foundation of a part and just building building it up and uh, making sure there's like a melody, making, making sure there's some ear candy for people to listen to. The stuff he was coming up with, I mean, we were just sitting there, we would have a chorus and we would build the whole song off that, I mean, and I just felt, it felt so natural writing. Lead, also lead-wise, I think these are my favorite solos on any of our records as well. Well, this time around, I kind of knew what I wanted to do over a solo, but we kind of arranged it on the spot, like while I was tracking with Carson or Grant. And uh, I think they definitely are the main catalyst to these solos sounding the way they do, is because they kind of pushed me to not just play as many notes as possible over the span I'm allotted. It kind of was trying to make a solo sound like a solo. Adam's just kind of growing as a player. I think he's like been working on some, like the stuff on this record is just like. Not that it's like completely different, but I, I think he's actually like really coming to like have his own like sound now and it's pretty neat. You know, we really just wanted to not limit ourselves on what we can or cannot do. And even if it was something that we thought, hey, maybe it's something this band hasn't done or, you know, I don't know if we would do, we would try it and it would, it would work out, so. You know, this this release taught us to not be scared and to, you know, if it's something we're thinking, let's just do it. And the songs sound like just a mature version of what we've always done. Tried to pride ourselves this time around writing a record where people weren't fast forwarding through the parts just to get to the heavy part, but were finding themselves listening to the entire song, just enjoying it um, for what it is. Compared to Psalms, I think it's more cohesive, it's more thought-provoked, it's more thought out, it's more planned. It's not just like, here's a bunch of riffs, here's a breakdown, we just kind of shoved it all together, and it sounds like that. I think this sounds like an album, it sounds like each song is a song, not just like you can intertwine any piece and put it into another song, it kind of, they all belong together. I just can't wait to see what kids say about this shit. <laughs>